This section examines the four-stroke and the two-stroke diesel engine cycle. Let's start with the four-stroke diesel engine cycle. A four-stroke diesel engine has a cycle of four strokes. A stroke is the distance from top dead centre to bottom dead centre. The piston travels down for one stroke on intake, up for compression, down for power and back up for exhaust. In intake or induction, the inlet valve opens and the piston starts to move down from top dead centre. Air enters the cylinder through the inlet port. When the piston reaches bottom dead centre, the cylinder is full of air. The inlet valve closes. The piston starts up from bottom dead centre. The exhaust valve is closed, so the cylinder is sealed. The piston's upward motion compresses the air. When the piston reaches top dead centre, the air is compressed to about one sixteenth of its original volume. This is higher compression than in a similar petrol engine. Compressing the air also heats it. Both valves stay closed as the piston rises. Just before it reaches top dead centre, an injector sprays fuel into the chamber. It mixes with the very hot compressed air and ignites. Combustion occurs. The temperature rises much higher and the gases expand and force the piston down in a power stroke. The piston reaches bottom dead centre. The exhaust valve opens. With the exhaust valve open and inlet valve closed, the piston moves up, forcing exhaust gases out of the exhaust port. The piston reaches top dead centre, the exhaust valve closes, the inlet valve opens and the cycle starts again. Let's look at the two-stroke diesel engine cycle. Once again, the five key events occur, but in a different way. At the start of air intake, the piston is moving towards bottom dead centre at the end of a power impulse. The piston uncovers the inlet ports and the blower delivers fresh air into the cylinder. The exhaust valve opens. The piston reaches bottom dead centre and starts its move upwards. Incoming air scavenges exhaust gases out of the cylinder. The piston continues up, covers the air inlet ports and cuts off the air supply from the blower. The exhaust valve closes. The piston approaches top dead centre, compressing the air and raising its temperature. Just before the piston reaches top dead centre, the injector sprays in fuel. The heat of the compressed air ignites the fuel. Pressure from the expanding gases forces the piston down the cylinder in a power impulse. Before the piston reaches bottom dead centre, the exhaust valve opens and burned gases escape. The inlet port is uncovered and it admits fresh air from the blower. The piston reaches bottom dead centre. The cycle is ready to repeat itself. All five events occur in just two strokes. How many revolutions does the crankshaft do in one engine cycle? One revolution per cycle.